Welcome back to 2230, your go-to channel for the latest news and happenings. Today, we have a significant update from the heart of Asia's financial hub, Singapore, where a high-profile money laundering case has been making headlines. Minister K. Shanmugam, Singapore's Minister of Home Affairs and Law, recently spoke out on this issue, and his statements have sparked quite a debate. We'll delve into the details shortly, but before we do, please take a moment to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful updates like this. Now, let's talk about the recent developments surrounding the 1.8 billion Singapore dollar money laundering case in Singapore. Minister Shanmugam, in an exclusive interview with the Chinese newspaper Lianhe Zaobao, emphatically refuted any suggestion of a connection between the arrest of 10 suspects and the visit by China's foreign minister Wang Yi. He made it clear that Singapore doesn't bow to external pressure and that the investigation was initiated due to credible reasons and suspicion of criminal activity within the country. On the 15th of August, Singapore authorities launched one of the most extensive operations against money laundering in the country's history. Ten individuals, including nine men and one woman, were apprehended in an island-wide raid. These individuals had different nationalities but shared a common origin in Fujian. What's truly astonishing is that over $1.8 billion in assets were seized, raising questions about how these individuals managed to accumulate such wealth. The situation took another turn when Kenneth Jaratnam, the Reform Party Secretary-General, alleged that the arrests were influenced by China's foreign minister. However, the Ministry of Law and the Protection from Online Falsehoods and Manipulation Act, PUFMA, office swiftly clarified that the arrests were not influenced by any foreign entity. They cited rigorous investigations and police news releases as evidence. As of now, the seized assets are held in police custody, following established legal procedures. If the 10 individuals are proven guilty, the courts will decide the disposition of these assets. Regarding their fate after conviction, Minister Shamugam stated that they would serve their sentences and, in some cases, may be deported based on passport permissions. However, if a country with an extradition treaty with Singapore requests their extradition, it will be honoured. Minister Shanmugam also highlighted the critical need to maintain Singapore's reputation as a trusted financial hub with sound regulation, good governance, and a strong rule of law. The financial services sector plays a significant role in Singapore's GDP and job market, making it essential to strike a balance between security and openness. Singapore's robust anti-money laundering measures were underscored, aligning with international best practices. The Monetary Authority of Singapore and financial institutions act as the primary defense, with various gatekeepers, including real estate agents and precious commodities dealers, obligated to report suspicious transactions. Finally, it's worth mentioning that the fact that the arrested individuals originated from China has raised concerns among other Chinese nationals in Singapore. However, Minister Shanmugam reassured that those engaged in lawful businesses and bringing in lawful funds should not worry. So, there you have it, the latest on Singapore's 1.8 billion Singapore dollar money laundering case and Minister Shanmugam's response. Now, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this development? Do you think Singapore's anti-money laundering measures are robust enough? Leave your comments down below. Hit that like button if you found this video informative, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to 2230 for more in-depth news coverage. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for our next update.